Hello, my name is Margaret. Welcome to Rear Facing Toddlers. This car seat is the Diona Radian 5. It can be used rear facing from birth all the way up to six years. And because it covers such a large range of ages, it comes with a few different accessories that you put in as the child grows or take out. There are different harness pads, a newborn insert, etc. So I thought it would be a good idea to open the box and show you what's inside. And to cut open the box and see what comes out so I can talk you through what all the different bits and pieces are for. So first of all, there is a packet of instruction booklets. Car seats always have instruction booklets of every language of every country that the seat is sold in. Only one of these will apply to you, so you don't worry, you don't need to read all of this. So I'll just put this to one side, open the plastic bag, this is the newborn insert, so that goes in the seat, just put, put it in here for, to show you. That's the newborn insert, and it also comes with a headrest, which attaches with Velcro to the top of the insert, just here. Okay, the next thing is the rear-facing foot. This attaches underneath the car seat, and these two lips have to go in the slip where the backrest meets the seat cushion. I will show you how to do this in a separate video, but for now, I'll just put it to one side. So that's your rear-facing base or foot. Right, this is just packaging that can go in the bin. These long harness pads are for older children who weigh between 15 and 25 kilos, and they're only used when you have the harness, the harness straps in the two higher slots. The Radium 5 comes out of the box with the baby and toddler harness pads attached to the harness straps. These little pads are only used for in the lower three slots for children from birth up to about two to three years. Once you move the harness straps up to the fourth and fifth height positions, you change the little pads for these longer rubber backed harness pads for older children. The next thing that comes out of the box is a cup holder. The cup holder attaches to the side of the seat. This pin goes into a hole in the armrest. Every one of these grey tabs has a little hole underneath it that you put the grey pin into. And this is the tether strap for rear facing. This is attached to the runner rail of the front seat and there is a hook on the back of the tether strap on the car seat that attaches to this bracket. And now for the seat itself. When the seat is folded up, it has a red Velcro strap that doubles up as a carrying handle. So you just pull it out of the box by the handle and there's the Radian 5. And this thing here is the back pad. The back pad is what you attach to the back of the car seat when it's rear facing, especially when you put it in the front seat to cover the gap between the back of the seat and the dashboard. And you also put this on the back of the Radium 5 when you install it in the middle of the back seat, because again, the two front seats will be too far away and you need to fill that gap with this foam pad. The back pad should be attached to the back of the Radium 5 when it's rear facing wherever possible, even when it's in the back of the car behind one of the two front seats. Sometimes the car may be too small or the front passenger too tall for that to fit, and then it's okay to leave it off. I show you how to attach the back pad in my installation video. And then there are three more things that are attached to the back of the car seat when it comes out of the box. So I'm just going to show you what they are on the back of my demo seat. This is the safe stop. This is attached between the adjuster strap and the harness straps on the back of the car seat. So down here for forward facing children between 15 and 25 kilos only, and it reduces the loads on the neck slightly in a crash. So that lives here on the back of the seat. This is the tether strap. It's got a hook at one end and just a lot of excess strap at the other to make it longer. And this is what's used for both forward facing and rear facing in the car. And when for storage purposes, when it's not in use, it clips onto here. And this red clip here is the seat belt locking clip. So whenever you install this car seat, you tighten the belt, wrap this clip around it and lock it into place like this. So that's the Diona Radian 5 and all its accessories and what they're for. Please click on the link below for the installation video for this car seat where I show you how to install it in the car. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.